Sichuan hit by China's biggest flood in 70 years. According to local Sichuan media reports, the province has seen a new round of torrential rainfall this year. During this period, the local meteorological bureau in Sichuan issued an orange rainstorm warning on two consecutive days for the first time this year. Flooding at record levels is expected along the King Iai River, while high water level is also forecast to continue at the lower reaches of the Daedu and Minjiang rivers. As a result, the province's flood control and drought relief headquarters decided to raise the emergency response as the situation remains grim. If you find this video informative consider to give the channel a subscribe. The Changjiang Water Resources Commission issued on Sunday an orange flood warning for the Jialing River and its tributary Fujiang River on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, Changjiang in Chinese, in Sichuan. As per the latest monitoring data, the region has started experiencing the flood No. 5 this year. Sichuan province hit twice in this month with more floods. Last week, over 107,000 people in Chengdu, were affected as heavy rainfall covered 12% of the province, causing severe flooding. China Daily reported that 11 people had died or were missing in Ya'an whilst last week with more than 40,000 people being relocated from across the province. The continuous rainfall between 8 a.m. Saturday to 8 a.m. Sunday has caused 41 rivers in the province to exceed warning levels. 22 of these reached the so-called safe level set as twice the level of floodwaters during last year's flood season. Moreover, 60,000 people have been evacuated across Chengdu. Both urban areas and villages have been heavily impacted by the new round of torrential rainfall since August 10. Towns have been flooded as well as farmlands with consequential disruptions to traffic flow. The flood prevention dike in the section of the Mingtai Hydropower Station Reservoir in Zinda Town, Santai County, Mianyang City, on the main stream of the Fujiang River, was reported to be of risk of bursting, leading to more than 5,000 people to evacuate. At present, those regions are still in emergency state and rescue and aid operations are underway in an orderly manner. The water levels of rivers in cities like Xiang, Lushan, Neijiang, and other towns have been rising. And the rain triggered one of the biggest floods in a century in Yan City which neighbors Sichuan's provincial capital Chengdu. The flood was mainly caused by elevated water levels in the King Iai River that flows through the city. The western Sichuan basin and the eastern part of the plateau area in western Sichuan have also been hit hard. With a history dating back more than 1,700 years, the town was a popular tourist spot that attracted tens of thousands of visitors per day. The economic losses are unprecedented. I am 55 years old. I have never seen such a huge flood. This is the first time. Every household has lost tens of thousands, said a resident and hustle owner in the old town.